but there's two of them that I can't get out of my mind. I, I never even cast a glimpse at this bag. Styled it with the suit crossbody. It was like a light bulb went off. Again, revolutionary. Who would have known? Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about two really, really unexpected Louis Vuitton bags that have grabbed my attention and won't let go. These are bags that I would not normally think that I would be interested in. They're certainly not the style of bag that I would normally go for. They're not the bags that I would picture myself wearing that often, but there's two of them that I can't get out of my mind. I just can't stop obsessing and visiting on the website. And the first one is the Loop Hobo bag. And I have it here on my phone, but I'll put it on the screen so as you can see it. And this bag, I just, I can't get it out of my mind. I have an image in my head of this bag being worn in the autumn and the winter time, perhaps crossbody or on the chain and how slouchy it would be. And if you had a big scarf and your coat, I think it would look pretty fab. And this obsession started when one of you left me a comment on one of my videos talking about how you've bought this loop hobo bag and you used it for a weekend away, somewhere you were going and you found it really, really usable. Everything fit in it. It's more like a traditional handbag. Let's be honest, a lot of these don't fit very much. A lot of these have my phone, my card holder and my keys and that's about it, or lip gloss. They're not like a traditional handbag that I would have imagined when I was growing up where my mum would have had her bag and everything was in it. The purse was in it, the address book was in it, the keys were in it, letters were in it everything was in it and it was a big substantial bag. Those are generally not the bags I go for. Those are the bags that I've talked about before that were one of the huge mistakes that I made when I started buying luxury bags. I thought I had to buy proper handbags, grown up handbags. But what I like are small little tiny things that go cross body and are all around me in this room. But I bought them when I first started, never worked. And now all of a sudden I'm obsessed with two of them. And I just keep thinking that this would fit so much. I could probably get my agenda in it. I don't think in the loop hobo I could get my laptop in it. Maybe I'd need to try it, but I don't know. But I definitely think I could get my agenda. I could get a book in it. I really like the chain that comes with it. I like the fact that the strap can be extended to go cross body. Another real surprising thing about this is I don't particularly like reverse monogram. I don't particularly like it. And there's a big section along the bottom of this bag that is reverse monogram and it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm looking at it on the video and I'll put this on the screen so you can see with the model wearing it. And it just looks like such a usable, casual bag. And maybe what this shows, looking around this room, maybe this shows that I've gone a little bit too far in bags that are small, that fit a few things, but I have quite a variation of those. And I have quite a number of those that I can pick and choose from. I can pick colors, I can pick shades of colors, and I can put them with what I want to wear. I generally don't wear my Neverfull during the day unless it's work, it gets, or travel, it gets everything put in it, but I wouldn't really wear it if we're going somewhere at the weekend or we're going on a trip or anything. I generally don't take that unless it's a big travel trip. So maybe what I'm missing, <laughs> talk myself into needing more bags because there's a gap in here, but maybe what I have bought too many of and probably continue to buy are the smaller mini bags and don't have an option of that everyday general throw in the bag, cross body, easy to wear bag. And this is, I think, where this is coming from. I'm looking at the Birkin up there. I do use that a lot as a handheld casual bag because it fits more in and I can just throw it in and I've annoyed some people with pictures of shampoo bottles and stuff in it. But I throw that in and can carry that about. Also the bigger Chanel decompressed denim bag that's in here somewhere that I can wear cross body or on my shoulder and fits a bigger amount has also been really usable with my children. And I'm thinking maybe how usable those have been have made me realize that there is a gap in my handbag collection for a bigger, who thought, who thought you would have needed a bigger mum bag that you can throw everything in? Oh my goodness, it's, it's groundbreaking. Who would have known? <laughs> but maybe, 
the, how usable they are has shown me that I do have a need to just have bags that you can throw everything in. Quite often if I'm out and I've taken one of these smaller bags and we end up going into a restaurant, say, I will have the smaller bag and I will also have my child's tablet in this arm and I'll have a juice in this arm and I'll have a jumper over the tablet in this arm. Whereas these bags I'm thinking you could just put it all in. You could just fire it all in and off you go. And wouldn't that make life an awful lot easier? Oh my goodness, I'm becoming a self-confessed tiny bag reformed person. I don't think I'll ever get that far, but I am thinking there's definitely a gap for these and I'm thinking I could just throw it all in, kids jumpers, kids everything, off we go. And it would, and it would be really, really groundbreaking. <laughs> I know, crazy. But I really like the Loop Hobo. I think it's really good shape. I really like the look of it. I really like the chain. That's definitely one of the options that I'm thinking about. And the other one is entirely Deal's fault. Deal from Deal's Addiction. I will link Deal's channel down below. Go check her out. She's fabulous, but be warned, she's an influencer in that she has absolutely influenced me on this bag. She's influenced me on other bags before as well. But this bag she bought, and she has a video on this bag where she does a review and everything of it. And if you're interested in this bag, go check out G Deal's channel and you'll see an in-depth review of this bag and that's what has me a little bit obsessed and it is if I can find it on their site the Carry All MM and Dale has it in the black on plant leather and that's the version that I really like as well there I have it on the screen but I put it on so you can see it properly the reason that I think this one is similar to the reason of the Carry All or the Loop Hobo sorry that's caught my attention Deal has this on, on her, either in her Instagram or on her video, and she has it styled with a black suit. I wear a suit basically every single day to work. And what I wear with it is my Neverfull. My Neverfull fits my laptop, fits my agenda. I have a video on what's in my work bag. You can see all the stuff in there, there's lots of it. And my thinking for this is that this would fit all of that stuff. It would fit my laptop, it would fit my agenda, it would fit my pencil case, it would fit the kitchen sink, and I could wear it across me, across my suit. And I never even cast a glimpse at this bag. This bag did not pique my attention. It's black, I'm not a black bag lover. It's on plant leather, which I do love, but there's nothing about this that's loud or colorful or patterned or in your face that would make this bag stand out to me. And this is another lesson I'm learning all about the learning day, that you don't always have to have things that look brightly like coloured like this or other things can really work. Because once Dale bought this bag, styled it with the suit crossbody, it was like a light bulb went off. Again, revolutionary. Who would have known? A black crossbody bag would be very useful. You work in a corporate environment. You wear black suits quite a lot or navy suits. Oh my goodness. A black crossbody bag would be fab and I could fit my laptop and all of the things. So when I saw how Dale had styled it that way and how comfortable it looked crossbody and I like the slouchy look of it. I like, don't know what's happening. I know I have my tiny little structured bags like my Chanel minis, my petite mals and they're tiny and structured, love them. But I've really taken a notion for these bigger slouchier bags and I think the Carry All MM would be fab. I think it would be a slouchy, really cool vibe with crossbody, all the work stuff in, either over a suit and would allow me to be hands-free. I do put my Neverfull on my shoulder. It is hands-free, but it's heavy and it's quite bulky. Now, I'm not going to be a reformed Neverfull lover. I will forever champion this bag. It's fabulous. And I would not be getting rid of this bag or not using this bag, but I do think this could be a good alternative to wear crossbody. Crossbody spreads the weight somehow, is a little bit easier. I do think this is a great alternative and I'm really, really piqued by this, my interest. I just, I keep visiting this, can't get this out of my mind. I'm thinking the crossbody, everything in it, I think it would be great. I also really like the idea of this styled up in the autumn, winter, again, in that type of look with the big scarf over it or maybe a blazer and your coat. It's probably Deal's fault. If you go onto your Instagram, you'll see it styled many ways. Looks fab. A crossbody with it and I think, I think this bag would be fab. I'm between these two. I really, really like both of them and they're so unexpected. They're, they're the sort of bags that I normally didn't even take under my notice. I thought when I saw them being released, ha, ah, smug, not gonna spend my money on that because it's not tiny and square or rectangle. But these have really, really piqued my attention and it just shows you sometimes when you look outside your comfort zone or outside the bags that you would normally buy, there's gems there. I think each of these would be fab. I think 
I need to try them both on. I need to try them both cross body. I need to see if the laptop fits. I need to see the agenda, what it's like when I put all of the things in. But these two bags, <laughs> very unexpectedly, have caught up on me and are probably top of my wish list at the minute. I don't, I don't really have a wish list at the minute because I'm trying to restrain myself. But these two bags are probably top of it if you're looking outside that mini saddle that I'm still thinking about. But just how usable, how function, functional, how functionable they would be and how great work bag, mum bag, travel bag. Yeah, really, really obsessing on each of these and I'm, I'm gonna go and check them out. So watch this space. There could be one of these getting introduced. I just, what's happening to me? And my tiny bag energy coming from Cassie Thorpe, what's happening to me? But no. There's my reasoning. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have either of these bags. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you think about introducing them into your collection like this that's generally quite small and tiny. And if you think it's a good idea, I'm totally obsessing and I need to go and try these. Thank you so much for watching me. If you have enjoyed this in any way, if it's been entertaining as I find myself and come to the realization that there's other bags in the world, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing. If you haven't had enough of me yet, I'm going to leave another video on the screen for you. Thank you so much for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.